to YouTube and today's video I'm showcasing my top five meta assault rifle loadouts in Warzone 2 season 6 which I know it's been a little while since I've updated the list so I want to go back through and tell you guys exactly what you should be running in the current meta so of course stay tuned for that but real quick I want to give a massive shout out to the Nodi gang without further ado hop directly into it hop directly into it we do have our honorable mention with the TR-76 Geist which you guys know was one of the best assault rifles in the entire game but it recently caught a nerf it's still super good and still super viable but hopping directly into the build starting off with the muzzle we have the sack and tread 40 for our compensator giving you guys that vertical and horizontal recoil control make it to where the tr76 geist isn't bouncing all over the place for the tuning on the muzzle we're doing plus 0.44 for the recoil stabilization and plus 0.35 for that recoil control then we're tossing on the bruin brittle heavy for our barrel giving you guys that recoil control damage range bolt velocity and hit fire accuracy helping out the geist in every possible way make it to where you're hitting harder you're getting closer to hit scan and you're even more accurate then we're gonna be tuning it for fully maxed out recoil steadiness and fully maxed out damage range and mixing in perfect with the barrel is the 762 high velocity ammunition giving you guys even more bolt velocity getting you even closer to hit skin for the tuning on the ammunition we're completely maxed out for the damage range and we're completely maxed out for the bolt velocity and then instead of an under barrel we're tossing on the stip 66 grip for our rear grip giving you guys that recoil control mixing in perfect with the rest of the build making it to where the geist is extremely controllable for the tuning on the rear grip we're doing negative 0.52 for the ads speed and plus 0.15 for the aiming auto stability and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 45 round mag increase that mag capacity make it to where you don't have to reload after every single kill but overall that's my full build for the tr76 geist assault rifle in warzone 2 season 6 i'm telling you guys even after the nerf it's still super good and still super viable in the current meta so if you guys haven't already go through give the full bit a try time the highest kill game you guys get with it but like i said that is our honorable mention so without further ado let's hop directly into the actual list now hopping directly into the list starting out at loading number five we have the tac 56 which you guys know has always been one of the better options in Warzone 2 and it's still super good right now in the current meta so hopping directly into the build starting off with the muzzle we have the Harbinger D20 suppressor giving you guys that sound suppression bolt velocity damage range and recoil smoothness we're gonna be tuning it for fully maxed out recoil smoothness and fully maxed out bolt velocity and mixing it perfect with the muzzle is the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro barrel giving you guys that damage range hit fire accuracy and bolt velocity make it to where the tac 6 is hitting harder you're getting closer to hit scan and you're even more accurate for the tuning on the muzzle we're doing plus 0.19 for the recoil steadiness and we're completely maxing it out for that damage range then just like every single ar build that i posted recently we're tossing on the high velocity ammunition giving you guys that bolt velocity mixing in absolutely perfect with the muzzle and the barrel then we're gonna be tuning it for fully maxed out damage range and fully maxed out bolt velocity and of course instead of an under barrel we're tossing the fss combat grip for our rear grip giving you guys that recoil control make it to where the tac 56 is even more accurate for the tuning on the rear grip we're doing negative 0.26 for the ads speed and negative 0.35 for that sprint to fire speed and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 60 round mag increase that mag capacity but if you guys want even more mobility you can swap the 60 round mag down to the 40 round mag but overall that's my full build for the tac 36 assault rifle in warzone 2 season 6 which i know a lot of my ar builds recently have looked like this where it has no underbarrel and no optic but just know all these builds are personal preference and you guys can always swap things around for yourself but make sure you guys go through and give the entire build a try tell me the highest kill game you guys get with it but like I said, that is our loading number five on the list. Top directly to loading number four. Loading number four is the Tempest Razorback Assault Rifle, which has always been pretty good since it got added into the game. It's super easy to use and it has literally zero recoil. One of the massive reasons why it has zero recoil is the muzzle, which we're tossing on the second tread 40 for our compensator, giving you guys that vertical and horizontal recoil control, making to where the Tempest Razorback isn't bouncing all over the place. For the tuning on the muzzle, we're completely maxed out for the recoil stabilization. We're doing plus 0.10 for that recoil control. Then we're tossing on the 18 inch tack. 2L for our barrel, giving you guys that damage range, hip fire accuracy, full velocity, and movement speed, helping out the Tempest Razorback in every possible way, making it to where you're hitting harder, you're getting closer to hit scan, and you're faster around the map. Then we're gonna be tuning it for plus 0.15 for that recoil steadiness, and we're completely maxing out for that damage range. And special to just the Tempest Razorback, we have the DM Proto Grip for our underbarrel, giving you guys that aiming out of stability, horizontal recoil control, and recoil stabilization, making it to where the Tempest Razorback is an absolute beam, which they finally fixed the tuning for the underbarrel, so we're gonna be tuning for plus 0.28 for the recoil stabilization and negative 0.30 for the aim walking speed and like i was saying with the tac 56 we're tossing the 556 high velocity ammunition on pretty much every single build giving you guys that bolt velocity mixing it perfect with the barrel getting you guys even closer to hit scan for the tuning on the ammunition we're completely maxed out for the damage range and we're completely maxed out for the bolt velocity and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 60 round mag increase that mag capacity which with the tempest razorbacks fire rate and damage this is absolutely essential for the build but overall that's my 
full build for the Tempest Razorback Assault Rifle in Warzone 2 Season 6. I'm telling you guys, this has been really good recently. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go through and give the entire build a try and tell me the highest kill game you guys get with it. But like I said, that is our loading number four on the list. Slop Dark into loading number three. Loading number three is the Cast Off 762 Assault Rifle, which in my opinion was the best assault rifle in the entire game until the recent nerf it caught. It's still super good in the current meta. So hopping directly into the build, starting off with the muzzle, we're tossing the Sack and Tread 40 again, giving you guys that vertical and horizontal recoil control, making to where the 762 is an absolute beam. Then, of course, for the tuning on the muzzle, we're completely maxed out for the recoil stabilization. We're doing plus 0.10 for that recoil control. Then we're tossing on the Cas 10 584 barrel, giving you guys that damage range, bolt velocity, hip fire accuracy, and recoil control, helping out the cast off 762 in every possible way, making to where you're hitting harder, you're getting closer to hit scan, and you're way more accurate. For the tuning on the barrel, we're doing plus 0.35 for the recoil steadiness and plus 0.21 for that damage range. And just like I always tell you guys, the optics are 100% personal preference. You can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with. But for me on the 762, I felt the best with the AMOP V4. Then we're gonna be tuning it for fully maxed out flinch resistance and fully maxed out for far. And of course, you can't miss out on the 762 high velocity ammunition, giving you guys that bolt velocity, mixing in perfect with the barrel, getting you guys even closer to hit scan. And of course, for the tuning, we're completely maxed out for the damage range and we're completely maxed out for the bolt velocity. And for the last and final attachment, we have the 40 round mag. Increase that mag capacity, making it to where you don't have to reload after every single kill. But overall, that's my full build for the cast off 762 assault rifle in Warzone 2 season 6. Like I was saying before, this was the best assault rifle in the entire game, but even after the nerf, it's still up there in that conversation. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to give this whole build a try. But like I said, that is our loading number three. Stop directly into loading number two. Loading number two is the M4 assault rifle, which you guys know is like the old reliable of Warzone. I genuinely don't think it's ever been bad. But hopping directly into the build, starting off with the muzzle, we have something a little bit different. We have the Cronin OP44, giving you guys that vertical and horizontal recoil control, making to where the M4 is super controllable. For the tuning on the muzzle, we're doing plus 0.31 for the recoil stabilization and plus 0.15 for that recoil control. Then we're tossing on the high tower 20 inch barrel, helping out the M4 in every possible way, giving you guys that recoil control, damage range, bolt velocity, and hip fire accuracy. Then we're going to be tuning it for plus 0.21 for the recoil steadiness, and we're going to completely max it out for that damage range. Then just like every single build on the list, we have the 5.56 high velocity ammunition, giving you guys that bolt velocity, making it to where you're even closer to hit scan. For the tuning on the ammunition, we're completely maxed out for the damage range, and we're completely maxed out for the bolt velocity. And of course, just like all my AR builds recently, instead of an underbarrel, we're tossing the Sack and ZX grip for our rear grip, giving you guys that recoil control, mixing in perfect with the muzzle and the barrel, making it to where the M4 is even more accurate. For the tuning on the rear grip, we're doing plus 0.55 for that recoil steadiness, and we're completely maxing out for that sprint to fire speed. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 60 round mag. Increase that mag capacity, making it to where you could beam an entire four stack if you really need to. But overall, that's my full build for the M4 assault rifle in Warzone 2 Season 6. Like I was saying a second ago, this is like the old reliable Warzone, and it's genuinely never been bad. So if you guys haven't already, go through, give the full build a try, tell me the highest skill game you guys get with it. But like I said, that is our loaded number two. So let's hop directly into our last loady on the list loaded number one and for the last loading on the list in loading number one we have the cast off 545 which if you guys have been in my streams recently you guys know this has been my favorite gun to run in the entire game after a recent buff the 545 is just way too much fun to use so hopping directly into the build starting off with the muzzle we're tossing the sack and tread 40 again giving you guys the exact same pros and cons for the tuning on the muzzle we're completely maxed out for the recoil stabilization and we're completely maxed out for the recoil control then we're tossing on the igk 30 406 barrel giving you guys that recoil control bolt velocity damage range and hip fire accuracy, helping out the cast off 5 for 5 in every possible way. For the tuning on the barrel, we're doing plus 0.24 for the recoil steadiness and plus 0.30 for that damage range. Then like I was saying with the cast off 7.62, the optics are 100% personal preference. You guys can run whatever you guys feel the best with, but for me on the 5.45, I felt the best with the SZ Recharge DX. For the tuning on the optic, we're doing negative 0.68 for the ADS speed and we're completely maxed it out for far. And of course, we have the 5.45 high velocity ammunition, giving you guys that bolt velocity Velocity, mixing it perfect with the barrel, getting you guys even closer to hit scan. For the tuning on the ammunition, we're completely maxed out for the damage range, and we're completely maxed out for the bolt velocity. And for the last and final attachment, we have the 45 round mag. Increase that mag capacity, but also holding on to a little bit more mobility compared to the 60 round mag. But overall, that's my full build for the cast off 545 in Warzone 2 Season 6. I'm telling you guys, after the recent buff on this weapon, it is by far my favorite AR to use in the entire game. So if you guys haven't already, go through, give the full bit of try some the highest kill game you guys get with it like i said that is our loading number one on the list so that's it for the video